Hey, I know if you're watching the news, then you're seeing all kinds of stuff happening with Israel and with Iran, and you might be freaking out a little bit because the news just, just feeds us fear. Um, but the truth is, is that God is not surprised and God is in control. And so honestly, I just wanted to take a beat and I just wanted to pray for Israel. I also wanted to pray for, for Iran. And I, I want to pray for the world because at the end of the day, like our mission as a church is to connect people with which means the entire world to the life-changing power of Jesus Christ. And so that doesn't change based upon what country those people are in. Um, but our mission is simply that everybody in the world would come to know Jesus and our job via the power above the Holy Spirit isn't finished until that happens. And so Lord Jesus, I just pray uh, that you would be with your people uh, where they are right now, that you would be a hazard protection around Israel, uh, that you, Jesus, would connect people to your life-changing power, that the people that aren't even a part of the war in Iran, Lord Jesus, would come to know you, that soldiers and leaders of the world, Jesus, would come to know you, would be connected to your life-changing power all around the world, Lord Jesus. And I just pray that you would be with your people. Open the eyes of, of Israel, Lord God, and allow them to connect to you as well. For you are Messiah, you are Yahweh, you came, even though they didn't think it was you, Jesus. You were the one that they hoped for and are still hoping for, but Jesus, you already came, you bled and you died for us and you rose again on the cross so that we could have life and have victory as a result of you. And so God, I pray that we as a world and we as a country would rest in that peace. Lord Jesus, we love you and we thank you. In your name we pray. Amen. Guys, have a great day and rest in the peace of Jesus and know that he is in full control.